Hello, all you beautiful faces out there. Welcome back to my channel. Today, guys, I have another hacks slash tips, tricks related video, except this time it's all about WhatsApp. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really excited. Um, for those of you who don't know what WhatsApp is, it's essentially a free messenger app and it's honestly so amazing. Check it out on the App Store or the Play Store. It will blow your mind. So I thought these hacks and tips and tricks would be super useful. I have 10 for you guys today and stay until the end of the video because the last one I will share with you guys is my favorite one my number one my favorite <laughs> um, but yeah if you're not yet subscribed please feel more than welcome to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it share it with your friends but other than that guys let's get into the video <laughs> Did you know that you can make group video calls on WhatsApp? It's super, super simple. All you're gonna do is you're gonna contact the first person. So for instance here, I am phoning Mike. And at the top there, there is a video icon. You click on that and it immediately starts video calling him, right? So here, once he's answered, we're chatting and all the rest, but on the top right hand side, there is another little icon, like a person with a plus next to it. And if you click on that, it opens up the contacts and then you simply search for the contact whom you want to add to your video chat. And here I typed in my mom, I click add, and then we are having a three way video call. How epic is that guys? And once again, you can click on that person icon with the plus sign on the top right hand side and add another person. So here I was searching for my dad and I could have added him to the video call if I wanted to. Now, I don't know how useful this is for some people, but anyway, you can bold italics and also strike through text on WhatsApp. So if you were to type anything, this is what it usually looks like. Hello. But if I want the text to be bold, you simply go to your special characters and click on the star symbol, then type up whatever the message is that you want bolded. And you put another star symbol again after that. And as you can see, the text turns to bold text. If you want to make the text italic, then you simply use the underscore symbol, as you see here, type out what you want to be italics, put another underscore after your text, and verbam, it makes it italics. And the same goes for if you want the text to have a strike through, you simply use this funny looking wiggly line. I, I, I don't really know what this is, <laughs> but you use that, you type out your message, once again, you put another one at the end and hello, your strike through text is striked through. Does that make sense? It's pretty cool. Ooh, location sharing. This was pretty epic when I found out from my friend how to use it. So if you look at the bottom of a chat, there is the attach icon. In there, there is a location option. If you click on that option, you can see here, it says share live location or send your current location. And basically what this does is if you share your live location, you can choose between 15 minutes, one hour or eight hours, and it'll share your exact location with that person or with whomever you want to share that with in the chat. Does that make sense guys? If parents, you wanna see where your kids are, you just tell them to share their location with you while they're out and you can literally live track them. Then if at any point you want to stop sharing your location with that person, you simply click on stop sharing. And that is it. I thought this was a really cool little feature. Now, another thing I didn't know was that you can edit pics within WhatsApp. So say for instance, you want to share a picture such as this one. I was just using this as an example. If you click on the top right hand corner there, there's that draw icon and you can literally draw on the picture. You can make funny faces. You can do whatever you want. You can literally draw you can add text, you can add emojis, you can crop the picture, and then eventually when you are done or when you are happy with your little edited design, you can just send it to the chat. And here is just another example of how you can customize images and send them through to your chats once you're done customizing. Oh my goodness, when my friend told me about having WhatsApp on your desktop, I almost died. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in WhatsApp web on Google. And then once you click on WhatsApp web, you will see this QR code pop up. 
Then what you're going to do is go onto your phone into WhatsApp on the top right hand side those three dots that icon you click on there and then you choose the option WhatsApp web. Then it scans that QR code as you saw again here I'm scanning the QR code and the bam you have your whole WhatsApp set up on your desktop. Oh my goodness this changed my life guys. And what's also really cool is you can drag and drop files from your desktop as you see I'm doing here. I'm just dragging the file into the chat and it sends it to them. It'll also send it to their phone and their desktop if they're using desktop. Guys, I love desktop so, so damn much. <laughs> okay, adding chat shortcuts to your home screen is also the bomb.com. So say for instance, this is a group like my mom and dad that I chat to really often. If I click on them and I click on the top right hand icon once again, and then I click on more, there will be an option that says add shortcut. So if I click on that, it will literally add a shortcut to this chat on my home screen. So as you can see there, it says mom and dad. And if I click on it, it'll take me directly to the chat. So it's just a shortcut to get to your most used chats, if you know what I'm saying. All right, status updates, AKA Instagram stories for WhatsApp. As you can see in the top of the screen here, it says chats, status, and calls. So if you swipe to the left, here's where you can basically add your stories to WhatsApp. So if I click on my own profile, I can take a picture or I can add a picture from my gallery. Again, I'm using this one as an example, I'm sorry. And I can add text, I can add emojis. I can do basically everything you can do on Instagram stories and then I can post it. If you don't want to post a picture from your gallery or a picture that you've taken, you can also just click on that pen icon and type some text out. And then also post that to your status or stories. And then over here is the ones that other people who are in my contacts have posted. So I blurred this out just for privacy reasons, but here I can view their WhatsApp stories, basically. Pinning chats, all right. So say for instance, there's a group or a person who you talk to the most often. If you want, you can actually pin that chat to the top of your page. And all you simply do is you hold down and then at the top there, you will see a pin looking icon. You click on that and bam, that group or person who you chat to will always stay at the top. So again, here's another example, um, like my dad, I chat to him often. I just hold down, click on the pin icon and he will also stay at the top always. Every single time I open my WhatsApp, it will be my dad and that other group. But if, say for instance, I want to unpin them, I just hold down, I click the pin icon and bam unpinned again. So I think it's a really little nifty feature and some of you might like that. I don't know. Okay, number nine, starring messages in chats. Let me explain. Sometimes when you're looking for important information, you have to scroll through the millions of texts that you've sent each other. But what you could actually do to get to that important information is simply hold down. I'm using a recipe from my mom, for example, and you click that star. And what that does is it basically puts that information in a separate folder. So if I hold down on my mom's profile and you see here it says starred messages. If I click on that, it'll show all the little messages that I've ever starred between my mom and I. So I don't have to scroll through all our chats just to find that one bit of information. Does that make sense guys? And if I want to take it out of the star folder, I simply hold down and click the star icon. Does that make sense guys? I really hope it does. Finally, onto my favorite and that is gifts within WhatsApp. I had no idea you could do this until like two weeks ago and then I just went ape. So if you click on the emoji icon on the left hand side there, at the bottom you will see a smiley face icon and a gif icon. If you click on gif, guys, it'll show you all the most used or trending gifs at the moment. Or you can click on the search icon, bottom left, and search for whatever gif you want. So here I'm just searching for laughing as an example. And you can choose whatever gif you want. I decided to go with this one. Then you can type a little message along with it. So I just said, ha ha. <laughs> and then I sent it and the person will get a gif. Guys, it is so funny to use gifs within group messages sometimes. And they are such a great way, as I'm sure you know, to express yourself. And you can also use gifs on the desktop. Hallelujah, oh my word. This is by far my favorite thing to do on WhatsApp ever.
Let me know down in the comment section which was your favorite hack, tip or trick. And yeah guys, don't forget I have a whole bunch of other Instagram stories related hacks, tips and tricks. You should probably click on one of these videos, I'm just saying. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, toodle!